Hi everyone, I'm Alaa Jadi. Welcome back to Music Greatness. This is Ruben, and for this lesson, we have One Last Cry by Brian McKnight. Sounds just like this. Alright, for this lesson I'll break down the intro and we already have quite a lot to learn for this intro. So we're playing in the key of F sharp major and we will start the song playing F sharp. F sharp, C sharp and F sharp for the left. Playing C sharp with my pinky on my right hand. Then I'll play G sharp using my second finger. A sharp, going to B, and then C sharp again, landing on F sharp over A sharp. A sharp, F sharp, and A sharp for the left, and again C sharp for the right. Quickly after playing this chord with my thumb this time, on my right hand I'll play F sharp, then G sharp, A sharp, and then go back to G sharp and land on B major 7. Still holding G sharp here, B and F sharp, A sharp and D sharp. And for the fingering, F sharp. Then using my fourth finger, I'll play G sharp, pinky on A sharp, and back to G sharp with my fourth finger. Just like so. And then from that B major 7, I'll play with my right hand, F sharp. Before playing, C sharp 11. C sharp and G sharp for the left. B, D sharp and F sharp for the right. And then go a half step higher and play D diminished 7, D and G sharp, B and D for the right. And that would be my passing chord to go to D sharp minor 7. Played on its fifth, A sharp, D sharp and F sharp for the left. And again C sharp with my pinky on my right hand. right hand again before playing the next chord I'll play F sharp with my thumb, G sharp second finger, A sharp and then B landing on G sharp minor 11. G sharp D sharp and F sharp, C sharp again for the right. Then play F sharp with my thumb going up on G sharp a sharp and then B and I'll hold that note and play B minor 6 B and F sharp D the minor 3rd F sharp the 5th and then G sharp the 6th of B minor so from G sharp minor 11 And also here for the fingering, I'll play G sharp using my third finger. Okay, so F sharp with my thumb, third finger, 
starting on G sharp. Then continue, landing on B with my pinky, holding the note, and then complete the chord by playing B minus six. And what after B minor, I'll play this with. I'm playing first G sharp and B, using my third finger and my pinky, going down on F sharp and A sharp, second and fourth finger, then E and G sharp, my thumb with my third finger, and then I'll repeat that, so G sharp and B, F sharp, A sharp, E and G sharp, going down on D and F sharp, using my third finger and my pinky, like so. And then from here, I'll play F sharp major on its first inversion. A sharp, C sharp, and F sharp. And so we're back on F sharp major. So I'm playing F sharp major first inversion on my right. Left hand, I'm playing F sharp, C sharp, and F sharp. And now for the left, I'll play one note after the other, so back to back, starting from the bottom, F sharp first, C sharp, and then F sharp. So I'll play my F sharp major this way. Like so. And then with my right hand, I'll play G sharp, A sharp, and then B, and go to G sharp minus seven. So I'm still holding B. G sharp, D sharp, and F sharp. I'll play for the left, one note after the other. G sharp, D sharp, and F sharp. And following that, I will replay B, the minor third of G sharp with my thumb, then play C sharp and F sharp before playing F sharp over A sharp again. A sharp and F sharp, A sharp and C sharp. Still holding F sharp on top. my thumb on G sharp, second finger on A sharp, and my third finger on B. Going to D major 7. D, A and D for the left. F sharp, A, and C sharp, the major seventh of D major. And just like F sharp and G sharp, I'll play for the left, one note after the other, on D major seven. From the bottom, D, then A, and then D, like so. And what after playing the last D on top here with my thumb, I'll play G sharp and B. Then go play F sharp and A sharp. And with my left, play octave C sharp, playing F sharp major over C sharp. So just like so. Using my right hand, I'll play F sharp, pinky, C sharp, second finger, 
F sharp with the thumb. And then we play my bottom F sharp, C sharp, and my top F sharp right before landing on G sharp minor 11. G sharp and F sharp, A sharp and C sharp for the right. And from here, I'll play a back and forth. With my right hand, I'll go down on G sharp and B. Then go up on A sharp and C sharp. And then we play G sharp and B. And this time I will add F sharp and complete the chord playing B and D on my left hand. So thus I'm playing B minor 6. Just like so. And just like the first B minor 6, we will play this riff after playing the chord. But instead of landing on F sharp major first inversion, I'll simply play C sharp and F sharp. Okay, like so. Once again. And then I'll complete the chord playing F sharp, C sharp, and F sharp, and A sharp again with my thumb playing the first chord for the verse. Sorry? Okay, let's take it from the top. We have F sharp major, and this melody line. F sharp over A sharp. B major 7. C sharp 11 going to D diminished 7. Then D sharp minus 7. G sharp minor 11. Going to B minus 6. And then we have this riff. F sharp major. G sharp minor 7. F sharp over A sharp, going to D major 7. G sharp minor 11, B minor 6, and then the last riff. Landing on the first chord for the verse. Let's replay it at full speed. And that's it for the intro. For the rest of the song, you can head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, guys, thank you for watching. If you love the content, leave a like, leave a comment, and also don't forget to subscribe. Until then, see you next week for another Urban.